Mile Miles channel that is all about inspiring others to enjoy life one mile at a time. We are continuing with our series of Jammin' on the Run videos about the amazing Princess Half Weekend. Last time we talked about the Expo and the 5K. This time it's going to be all about the 10K that was held on Saturday. But first, I need to introduce my pals here. We have Megan, who ran the race Hello. with her lovely daughter, Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin again. And we have Jackie. Hi. And we have Rob. Hello, Rob. Hello. All right. Hi. Before we get into the 10K there, I want to throw a quick shout out. Congratulations to everyone who finished the 10K, the Princess Half Marathon, whether it was your first or your 21st. Congratulations, one at all. So with that, let's get into the conversation. All right, let's talk about the 10K now. Now, Megan, right. this was Caitlin's first 10K, right? Is that is that right? It was. And, you know, the interesting part of it was we had planned for it, but we've had such a crazy winter. And, um, yeah, you know, the last time she had really run was when we did the <laughs> Superheroes 5K. And that was in November. In November. So um, I don't advise doing what she did, but... Uh, she's 11 almost 12 and you know dances for you know three hours a day so you know she, she can suck it up and you know her endurance was fine plus we knew we were going to run intervals so i knew i was going to base it on what she was doing and i knew if she could make three miles because she had done it the day before um but at, at the end of the day you know we didn't really stop for a whole lot but she was really she was really excited so she didn't feel that great i think probably for the 5k because she had been sick but um by the 10K, she she was ready to go. She was up. I didn't have a hard time getting her up. She was she was up, and dressed and ready to go. So um, she, I mean, she had a blast. But, but yes, it was her first 10K. That was a very long answer to a very simple question. <laughs> no, it's because that's what I wanted to kind of talk about. Like, how did she handle training for a first 10K? Um, yeah, she did. She she didn't handle it because she didn't do it. Um, <laughs> but being a dancer, being active, being 11. Yeah, you know, it's a little different, right? <laughs> it, it's a little different than being, you know, 43 or, or more. So um, I think the difference is, and she's very physically fit. So um, I knew, you know, whatever we do, whatever we had to do to get through it, and I'd, I'd push her through it. But, you know, we started off, you know, so we ran with Brooke and her husband for the first part of it. And we have the cutest picture with, you know, Caitlin was Provincial Belle, and I was the Beast, and, and Brooke dressed up as Yellow Belle, you know, in her ball gown, and her husband, Tommy, was was Gaston. So we have like, the best picture with the four of us, and we started running, and it was excess. When I say excessively crowded, it was really crowded, and I noticed, I noticed the crowds um, right from the get-go. And so as we were, you know, you do more on this course, you do more running outside of the park, probably the first three miles almost are outside the park. So it's dark, you're going up hills, you know, you're, you know, not hills, but hills for Florida. So, you know, overpasses per se. And it was by the time she's like, I have to walk. And so we were doing intervals of one and one. So one minute walking, one minute of running. And then it was time to run, and she said, I need to keep walking. So I told, you know, Brooke and Tom, I said, just go. I said, don't don't worry about us, just go, I'll, I'll stay. And so we switched, um, we did enough walking, and then we switched to 30-30, which I think worked really, really well, especially in our, in her lack of training mentality, but it, it worked, it worked really, really well. But we didn't really stop for pictures so much. We stopped for some of the really, you know, the awesome pictures once you get in a world showcase where it's dark and you, you know, everything's lit up. And so those are the, those are the ones you can't get other times where some of the character pictures you can potentially get. We were in some character lines. Um, I know we were initially in the Marie line because Marie's not out normally anymore, but she decided she said, this line's too long. So she <laughs> wanted to keep going and we, we abandoned that line much to the, you know, I'm like, okay, whatever. So it helped the people behind us, but we abandoned that line and then did 30, 30. We did stop for every mile marker. Um, that was one thing I wanted to do just because it was her first race. So we stopped for every mile marker, but did, you know, for the most part, 30, 30. And I mean, she was, she was so excited when she finished. I mean, she was, you know, and she should be proud of herself. I mean, think of, I said, think of how well you could do if you actually trained for this thing. <laughs> And so, you know, and, and I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think I think I think at my age, honestly, had I not trained 
or had I not had a base. So I hadn't been doing so much because I've got enough issues, physical issues with my knee. But um, had I not trained, I don't think I would have been able to accomplish what she could do. So I think the, you know, the fact that she was the age she is and how active she is with endurance, I think that helped her. But I don't advise anyone just going out and trying to run it and being okay with it. But she what was corral good. were you guys in? We lucked out and we were actually in Corral A because had Caitlin trained, the little sucker can run pretty fast. Um, and I, we probably would have been able to, you know, it would have been appropriate for us to be in A. I've been in B, A and B before from, you know, a 5 or 10K. So it would have been okay, but um, it, it was nice to be in Corral A. That's where Run Disney put us. So I wasn't complaining. Were you in the first wave this time? Did they do the wave thing again? I'll be completely honest. I don't even remember. I think we were. I think we were. How crowded I, know, it was being in. I know I was not in the first wave. I think I was probably either in the second or the third wave for for the 10K. But it was still so crowded. So imagine those in the back. I mean, the back. Of it was. It was very. I thought it was very, very crowded. And you know, when you when you get into more of those narrow places, when you're going around kind of the turns, you know. And the grass was wet, obviously, because of the dew in the morning. And, you know, it was so crowded that it was hard to either get to one side or the other. And, you know, there were some of those people that, you know, we signaled when we were walking. But, you know, we did have someone. <laughs> I was just like, seriously, you know, someone's like, Run, walkers on the right. I'm like, you know what? Never if I If I could get over to the right, I promise you I would have. But it wasn't like I stopped middle of the way we were clearly on we were on the left and it was signaled so you know I think for the most part everybody was really courteous and the one thing I will say just from even the 5k yes but the 10k even more there were so many adults that were so encouraging to Caitlin to say you're doing a great job keep it up you know, you've got this princess you know she's and it, it was just so nice that other people recognized and kind of gave her encouragement along the way because Yes, I was doing that, but I'm her mom, so you know right. it doesn't mean as much necessarily as some random stranger. So I think um, that piece really, really helped. And she, you know, as we we're running, she's like, "Oh, we could be this costume next time." And Aww. you know, she, she, I mean, she, she definitely loved it. She was very concerned. She loved the people we, you know, obviously we roomed. I mean, she had a. Everybody really embraced her, not just from a race perspective, but even a rooming perspective. Which, when you say you're rooming with six other people that you've never met, or five people, six other people and five you've really not had the interactions with in the past, you know, people are like, "What are you crazy?" I'm like, "Well, yes, I'm crazy, but uh, it was it was a fantastic situation." So I couldn't have asked for a better weekend. For her. So we didn't we didn't scare her off too much then, huh? No, she had, I mean, she had a blast. I mean, she was very concerned with how everybody was doing. And, you know, she's always looking at the pictures online and, you know, very interested in everybody else. So um, it was, it was a, it was a, a weekend that had not a whole lot of sleep. And I think she would have liked to have more park time, <laughs> but with me having yeah. to leave Saturday night instead of Sunday, you know, it was a little more difficult, mm -hmm. but knowing Unfortunately, that I had to be somewhere for work on Monday. There, there wasn't another option. So it was good because the, you know, it was funny. I, I had this picture that I posted. You know, after, you know, three, two nights of getting up really early, or actually two days of getting up really early. The third day, she, I mean, she, it was like two o'clock till she woke up. I mean, we got home late Sunday night, but it was two o'clock. She was still sleeping. <laughs> well, Jackie, you will be very proud to know that she did her part in the video story, uh, video star video in one take. One take. That's it. She nailed it first time. Good job. So, <laughs> so Must be Laura, awesome. what was your perspective on, on, on the 10K? We had, well, first of all, I got to back up and talk about our costumes because we had some doozies. We initially all decided to be uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But, you know, one Saturday, I got to thinking that, you know, it's princess, and princess, you like to be pink and princessy. So I was going through some photos and sent it to the others. <laughs> I think, Megan, you missed out on that frenzy of, like, 200 messages. But we decided to be the um, Monsters University sorority sisters. So, and we had the pink and purple wigs and the pink and purple leggings and the pink tank tops and colorful skirts. It was 
one of my favorite costumes for sure. It was so fun, so colorful. There were some people that didn't know who we were, so go figure. But we got there early. Uh, we didn't do any character photos. Instead, we went to the front of the stage and we danced because we were just going to enjoy it and have fun in these costumes. But we danced. We listened to the pre-show. We had a lot of fun and headed to the crowds a little earlier this time because I did not want to roll in there last minute again. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we had, it was really fun. Um, I, one thing I didn't mention last time, it, really did suck i don't mean to be negative but it sucks when you're walking and your friends are taking off and running and you're just like walking mm. along like bye <laughs> <laughs> but, but for the 10k um it was so fun i had so many people stop and say hey laura from joyful miles and, and i took video with many viewers just chatting with them so i got to meet a lot of people i guess the, the purple wig didn't throw them off and <laughs> my whole theme was going to be make good choices for this race, which means only stop for a couple character photos so I don't get right in front of the balloon ladies. But once again, it didn't happened. happen. <laughs> didn't happen. I did get a picture with, um, oh boy, who's the gal with the red dress? It starts with an A. I can't think of her. Anastasia? No, no, no. Uh, she's a new character. Um, oh, uh, Elena. Yes, Elena. yes. I did get Lena a picture Vettel. with her. She had a beautiful dress on, gorgeous backdrop. Uh, next up, um, along this one, before you get to the overpass, was Tinkerbell and the fairies. Did not stop for that because it was a crazy, crazy long line. Megan, there was one more. Do you remember what it was? You know what? I honestly don't. And, you know, as you're talking, here's the funny part. is like I now realize I didn't know which corral or wave of corral A I started in because I didn't start in corral A. I moved back to Crowd B to be with other people, so that's why I didn't start in Crowd A. Maybe that's why I was more crowded. I didn't so see you. that's why you didn't see there me. There we go. I couldn't remember. I was thinking, like, maybe she was there. I don't know. Uh, but then I was not. <laughs> once we entered into uh, World Showcase again, I did stop. I actually ran into uh, Sarah and Shannon, and we got a group picture with Pinocchio and Geppetto. That was really cute. And we had to stop for Marie because, you know, it's Marie. She's Marie, big, yes. So you stop for Marie. Um, so after, you know, we went through World Showcase, um, I went to the bridge area with the intention to get some nice video. And I kind of like looked over and I say into the camera that I was looking for the balloons just in case because I wasn't getting any notifications through because you can track the balloon ladies. I didn't see them, but all of a sudden, I saw it. I saw three balloons, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So I was on the bridge. I'm guessing It wasn't, they... oh, my gosh. No, it was not. <laughs> it was not. I had to do some bleeping in uh, the 10K video. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I sent the video to them <laughs> just for a laugh. But I was on the bridge. They were uh, around the France area. So, of course, as soon as that, I was like, all right, time to hightail. So we came across um, through the International Gateway, saw this tremendously long line for many. I mean, it was just insanely, insanely long. Um, but bypass that, uh, going up around to the boardwalk, I mean, you could definitely, it's just such a different vibe when you are back here with everyone who is walking. There's definitely a lot more pressure and stress back there, especially when, oh my gosh, a, a security guy yelled out, the balloon ladies are 30 seconds behind. And it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Instant, instant pandemonium. It was so crowded, trying to get through, very stressful. And something I'm gonna hit on in a separate video, but you know, I know um, a lot of people, you know, rag on, uh, you know, those who are in the back who are walking. But I mean, honestly, it's like, that's where you really see some grit and some determination. And, you know, I just admire that so much because, you know, I mean, yeah, a lot of people could have trained, but there are things that happen in life, you know, whether it's, you know, a divorce or a sick kid or aging parents or something that life gets in the way and it doesn't always work out the way that you want for these races. Sometimes you go into them untrained. Sometimes we go into them untrained. Um, but, you know, you, you get to see these women who are, you know, battling through and doing the best they can. And I will say that being back where I was, 
I saw so many endearing moments that still bring tears to my eyes. Like this one girl was like, here we go. This one girl was like having her arm around her grandmother and just pulling her along. And just, it was just so sweet and endearing. But um, at that moment though, I wasn't thinking of this. I was thinking of surviving. And I ran into uh, uh, some of our friends, Anna and Tiffany, and I was taking video over my shoulder. And I was like, Anna, Anna, where are the balloon ladies? Where are the balloon ladies? All of a sudden, I saw this woman is like waving her arms. One of the balloon ladies was, and they came right up on me. And I was like, oh my God. But yeah, you know, they're very lovely. I, I love the job that they do and the service they provide. You know, they don't get to run these races for free. They're, you know, they're volunteers. You know, Run Disney does give them the balloons. And if you want to learn more about them, I'm going to do a link. I'm going to put links to uh, a very good interview that Patty over at My No Guilt Life did with them. Plus the Team Shenanigans podcast did a really good uh, interview with them. So be sure to check it out if you want the full scoop. But yeah, you know, once we got into Epcot, I knew that I wasn't going to be swept because first there's like still a ton of people behind me at that point. And so I relaxed, but it was, it was so crowded and very congested. I actually ran into a viewer, Mia Jones. Hi, Mia. And, <laughs> you know, I wanted to chat, but I was, I was feeling very claustrophobic and I had my anxiety up because it was just so crowded. It was so hard to walk and she was kind of feeling the same way and she had a sore foot. So we were very silent for a while until we, you know, kind of like, the congestion eased up, but yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. And then, you know, going through the finish line and getting the medals, I have never seen it so crowded in that corral before. I actually ran into our friend, Charlie, who's from the UK and she's a cast member that works in Epcot. Very, very lovely girl. We adore her. So I got to finish with her. That was pretty cool, but it was, it was so crowded that I didn't even bother to take a water. I didn't bother to get a Gatorade, and I didn't even get um, a snack box because it was so wow. crowded. There was a huge, wow. huge line that spanned across the whole area with all these people waiting for one. And hey, I love the cheese. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I was going to say no, no cheese dip? No cheese. No oh. cheese. So, That's why. Yeah, right. I felt a little gypped, but I you know. No cheese. Yeah. But still, it was it was a good time. I, I went and I got a beer. I Always good in my world, but yeah, very fun race. I can tell you this for certain. I will never walk or run a race in a wig again. <laughs> yeah. I, was dying. I was dying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the whole way back, I was just like, I want to take the wig off. I want to take the wig off. But I knew I would look really hideous and my vanity won out. So I couldn't take it off, you know, but it was fun. <laughs> good race. Good characters. Uh, I definitely, like I mentioned before, I definitely think they need to bring back power aid for the water stops, especially it was, it was humid. I would agree. It was very hot. Yeah, they need agree. to bring that back. Um, yeah, I just don't understand that. A 10K is long enough distance. You should have something else warm. with water. Yeah. Especially given the temperatures. Like, if it's warm, and, and we ran into that at Disneyland, if it's warm, people need that, especially yeah. people who are really hauling, you know? Like, you're really sweating. Or even it's walking, because you're out there even longer. So Well, and I, I think I think the difference is, is, you know, when you look at, you're putting these, if it was just, not just a 10K, I hate to say just. So if, if the only race they have is a 10K, I can, I can foresee, okay, you know, only having water. But when you're looking at people doing multiple races over multiple days, you're, that. you have to be hydrated and, and not to do that. You know, I, I do think when you look at the cost of things, I know we've talked in the past, you know, they have raised the cost for some things too. The Powerade doesn't cost that much more because they're making it a mix. I mean, not that I've gone out and priced it personally, but I'm I'm pretty sure in the grand scheme of things, when they bulk purchase it, that it's not that much more expensive than providing the, the water that they do. Mm -hmm. So that's just my, my vote for bringing back Powerade. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. Rant over. <laughs> Okay, so that is going to do it for this episode of Jamming on the Run. Thank you so much for watching, and we truly, truly appreciate your, your support. Please subscribe if you would like to get video updates. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And also be on the lookout because in our next video, we are going to be discussing the half marathon, the big kabang of the Princess Half Marathon weekend. So until then, happy running and have a joyful day.